the grieving end of slain U.S. Special Forces hero Sergeant David Johnson has branded President Trump's alleged remarks to his widow as heartless and disgusting. Trump has denied reducing pregnant mother of two Maisha Johnson to tears by saying her husband knew what he signed up for during a telephone call to offer his condolences. But Katrina Johnson, 42, believes her family's account of the conversation and says Trump's supposed comments are a grave insult to her patriot nephew. The David was a hero who died fighting for this country. He loved doing what he was doing. He sure as hell did and sign up to be disrespected, she said in an exclusive interview with DailyMail.com. That's not something Trump should tell anyone, let alone a grieving widow. I'm not just talking about my nephew, there were three other people who died with him. These people are not robots, they all have grieving families too. I'm hurt, upset, disgusted, we are just gonna say the president is an SOB and leave it at that. Sergeant Johnson, 25, and three other Green Rays were killed October 4 by Islamist militants while on patrol in the African nation of Niger. Staff Sergeant Dustin Wright, Sergeant Brian Black, and Staff Sergeant Jeremiah Johnson were also killed by the fanatics, thought to be linked to ISIS. Trump's reported remarks were shared by Democratic Rep. Frederica Wilson, who says she was listening in on speakerphone when Maisha took the president's call on Tuesday while driving to Miami International Airport to meet his repatriated body. Heartbreaking footage later showed the 25-year-old widow, who was expecting the couple's third baby in January, sobbing as she leaned over her husband's flag-draped coffin. Trump insisted Wednesday that the quote attributed to him was entirely made up, claiming they had a very nice conversation and that he had proof that claims to the contrary were false. However, Johnson shot back during a TV appearance, declaring, President Trump is a liar. If he was taping the conversation, bring it on. Kawanda Jones Johnson, a different aunt who raised Johnson as her son after the death of his biological mother and who was also sat in the car during the conversation, backed the congresswoman's recollection of the call. I was in the car and I heard the full conversation, the 42-year-old told the Associated Press. Jones Johnson's husband Richard Johnson, 43, who is sergeant. Johnson's uncle, took the young boy in and raised him when his mother Samara Hood Johnson died in 1999 from tuberculosis. His real daddy wasnt really around. He saw him from time to time but Richard was the father figure in his life, Katrina Johnson explained. Samara passed on September 29, 1999 from tuberculosis. I think it was airborne, she used to clean planes and we think she got it off someone flying into the country. She stopped taking her medication because she said it just made her more sick. It hurt the David but he kept going. He had a good upbringing. He played football, he finished school. He would say I wish my mom was here but he had enough support around him to become the man that he was. Johnson said her nephew tinkered with cars and radios as a teenage boy and loved to cook. He had three sisters, two older brothers, and his first job was on the produce counter at Walmart.